Hi guys, I'm David Stiabudi and today I'm going to share my knowledge with you about creating a pseudocode. And the topic is pseudocode, creating five best player scoreboard. As you see, on my right side, there is a red board showing five best players. You see the column rank, name, and score. You know how it works then? You don't? If you play games a lot, then you know how this five best player scoreboard works. So let's say your score is better than the fifth player. Anoshka has 350, but then you get 400. It means your name and your score can replace the fifth player. And if you can get a better score than the first player, let's say you get 1,500, then you will be replacing the first player. And the first player and his score will drop down into the second. The second best drop down into the third place. The third place drop down into the fourth, fourth into the fifth. And the fifth player is gone because you are replacing the first winner. You are in the first rank. Okay? Okay, let's read the question. This program is just a part of the game programming. We are not going to create the whole game. Now, it's showing only the report of the five best player in their score. Now, this report, okay, will always be updated. So let's say there are new players, okay, the new player gets a better score than the, the fifth, because this one is the five best players, better than the fifth, then your name and your score can be in the five best player board. You see this one? Okay. This report will be updated when there is a new user that gets minimum bigger score than the fifth best player. Let's say if you are a new player, let's say my name, my name is David, and David got 350 is the same with the fifth rank, then your name cannot go in. First come, first serve. So let's say here, Anoshka get 350, and then I, can, I get only 340, it won't go in. But if I got 350, it still cannot go in. If you can get 351, then you can be in the fifth rank and wiping this name, let's say Anoshka, will be wiped out and will be changed by my name. Okay, 351. But let's not change the question and keep on reading. This program shows the rank, yeah, shows the rank, name, and score as text from the five best players. The user will be asked to input their name and user score. Here, okay, you just input your name and your score. You don't play the game to achieve a score, okay? This is just a simulation. You just put your name there and put your score. And then whether the entry of your name and your score can have an impact on this scoreboard. The rank, the name, and score will be updated based on the user score. And for example, you can read this. If the user name input is Ryan and the score is 600, okay, 600 is bigger than Hanson's score. So 600 is less than 750. 600 should be here. So what happened here is your name will be here and 600 will be here and then Hansen will go down to the fifth rank and this one will change into 
590. And this one will be your name, 600. Now, if the new score is at least better than rank 5, yes, we know this, and then show the text, you are a new champion. This is what you need to do in the pseudocode. The first thing you need to do is to understand the question and understand the logic. Then you can create the pseudocode. You cannot straightly just go to answer these questions. So, this program, okay, is making use of five variable names and also five variable scores. Okay, you, from this question, uh, the question is asking you to create five variable names and five variable scores. So let's say name one, name two, name three, name four, name five, score one, score two, score three, score four, score five, okay? Name and scores. This program will make use of conditional statements. Okay, as you see here, this is learned by the students who just learn about conditional statements means if and then so the students has not learned about structures or arrays so by actually by using loop structures or arrays the question the answer will be different maybe it's shorter okay but then here the question required us just to use these conditional statements without loops or arrays. Okay, write and test a program. A program must include appropriate prompts entry for data. It means you need to ask first, okay, what is your name and how high is your score? You need to ask. You cannot suddenly uh, make an input. Okay, you need to ask first and then you can give the question, um, the input. So here, if the error message, other input need to be set up clearly. If there's an error, you need to inform. All variable constants and other identifiers must have meaningful names. So you need to make a, a good name for this variable. It has to be meaningful. Okay, task pseudocode, create the pseudocode of this program. Okay, let's begin. Now, as usual, when we want to create a pseudocode, we need to create three, okay, in three steps. The first step is question. Create an entry of data. The second one, we make a formula from that entry, from that input. We do something. Like, like the first one is you uh, ask for the ingredient. The second one is you cook. The third one is there is the dish. That's the, your lunch. You can eat it. Okay. The third one is the formula. Uh, I mean, the third one is the result. So let's do this, guys. Okay. Now, the first one, the program shows the rank name. Okay. So we need to show these. Okay. Actually, we can, let's say, write down print, rank, name, score. Print, one, add them. But then, later on, we need to update this. So, it's better to create this as a variable. So, let's get started. The first one you need to do is choosing this career new, and then we create but type down here in capital print okay print something okay five best players okay and then print okay this one is rank name and score rank name and score but then for what should we write down here obviously we cannot write down like this 
because this one will be always updated. Let's say rank one. Okay. Adam. Oh, this one has too much spaces. Okay, Adam. And then, okay, let's ignore about the space. So this one score a thousand okay so actually you cannot do this because this one will be updated if you type down like this later on you will have problem in updating let's say the new player is in the rank one okay so what you need to do here you need to do the variable as it's ask five variable names and five variable score so you can type down here the variable name insert equation uh whoa, whoa, whoa. insert symbol and you use you use this left word arrow um i mean name one name one is okay let me copy this one and then delete it later on Okay, the first one is Adam, name two, or let's just copy this to make it faster. Okay, and this one is score. Score one, score two, score three, okay. Oops. Score 2, score 3, score 4, score 5. Now, here name 2, 3, 4, and 5. Score 2, 3, 4, and 5. Adam, Nitvesh, uh, Nitvesh, then this one is Yunsu. This one is Hansen. This one is Anoshka. The score. Guys, for score is not a string. So you don't need to put this. Instead, you put score 1 equals to 1000. Okay? left word here actually is a equals to but then you need to use this left word arrow because it's a pseudo code now i'm going to remove this as you see, uh, this one is already set for the variable, okay? If you want to color this, you can do it. Okay, this one is a variable. If you don't want to color it, it's okay. It's just to make the process easier, okay? Now, print rank means you need to print one and then comma or you can do this one, yeah. Comma, okay, one, two, three, okay, three, or let's say one, one space, then like this, okay. Comma name name one wait name one comma score oh it's showing like this okay so name comma and then score Score one. Okay. 
So name one here. Okay, it's having comma, then this one, score one. Okay. And then we can copy paste this. Print two, three, four, five. So here's the name two, name three, name four, name five. And here's the score two, score three, score four, and score five. So this will will show as this one. Okay. So this one is the first score which is not yet updated. Now how to update this? Okay, this is the first one, and then you need to make an input. Print because this one is the user will be asked. Okay, this one is done. I'm going to highlight this. The user will be asked to input their name and the user score. Print. Please enter your name. And there's the input. New player. Okay. Okay, or new name. New name. Print. Please enter your score. But in the real game, you need to achieve a score. You don't input your score like this. Okay. And then here, input new score. Okay. So, what should we do after this? As you see, the first one, we create the ingredient. We put and we make an input. And the next one, Okay, we do something or we make a formula to update this. So, as we know, the logic that we think if our score is bigger than this, then the new player can be here. It must be bigger than 350. It has to be bigger than score 5. Okay, it has to be bigger than score 5 and then it will replace the name 5 and score 5 okay and if you get better than this the first rank can go down to the second second go to the third fourth and fifth okay now we go to do the um, the first one if let's say it's bigger than score 1 Okay, if it's bigger than score one, let's do this. Okay, if, okay, this one, I'll color this in using green. Okay, green. If new score is bigger, wait, don't use that color. Okay, if new score is bigger than score 1, then, whoops, back to the black color, then, as usual, you need to know that if is a pair with an if. So you need to type it straight away like this, okay? And then what we do here is in between, we, we need to put indented two spaces, one and two. We need to do something here. This is the action between if. If this statement is correct, then we do something here. If the new score is bigger than score one. So what we do here, okay? Okay, this one, 
we need I need to copy this one. Oh wait. Because we need to change the place here. Let's say David, my name is here as a score is 1500. I need to put my name in the score in the name one. My name, David, should be in the score one. Remember that. And my score, okay, new score, five uh, 1,500 should be here, and Adam should go down, Nidvest should go down, Yunsu go down, Hansen going down, okay? So there is a replacement. So what we do here, the logic is like this. I'm going to create a temporary. This is just a temporary. I'm just, this is just a case to save it. Temporary name one. Okay, insert symbol this one, this one is saving the name one, okay, so I'm going to keep this one, whoops, This is fun. This is a very tricky, but if you know how to do this, it will be fun. Trust me. When you know, oh, it's like this, Mr. David. Now I get it. It will be fun. Trust me. Just follow my lead. Okay. So what it do here, what this temp name do, well, temp name 1 until 5 is, let's say this name is Adam, okay? The name 1 is Adam, so actually temporary 1, temporary name 1 is also the same with Adam. Temporary name 2 is Nidvest, temporary name 3, Yunsu, temporary name 4, Hanson, and temporary name 5 is Anoshka. It's basically the same. So, what should I do next is, listen up, because because uh, the new player, David, is getting 1,500, so David's name should be here. Remember, David's name should be in the First one, because it's replacing now, now Adam going down, Midwest going down, Yunsu going down, and so on. But then, this new name, new name should be here, okay? And then, you don't type like this, guys, please. You don't type like this. Let's say Adam, you put Adam here, you copy the name of Adam, and you put here. Okay, and then here you put Nidvesh. No, you don't do that. Okay, don't do that. What you need to do is, this one is become name one. Correct. Now, this one becomes name two. This one becomes name three. This one becomes name for correct okay do you see the pattern now name two is getting name three guys is this correct no it's wrong trust me you're surprised when i say this one is wrong yeah you see name one here okay becomes Adam, okay? Name one here becomes new name. Name one becomes David. And name two is becomes David two. And name three is the same. Name three is the same and it's adapting name two. So if you do this, then all of this name 
Name one David, name two David, name three is David, name four is David, name five is also David. Then you do a great big mistake. So what you need to do is, this is the use of temporary name. So you get this one, okay? You get this temporary name one, okay? You want to color it, another color is okay. So this is the use why you keep it. I don't do this temporary name for nothing. Okay? Do you get this point? Okay, so the new name, uh, name one becomes David and name two is getting this one, name one, which is Adam, okay? Then name three is getting from here. Name four is getting from temporary name three. Okay, now this step is done. This is just the first one, okay? This is just the first one. If you are bigger than the second one, what should you do? Of course, we are going to copy this. Copy this. And in between, you use else. Else if. Okay. Else if. If the new score is bigger than the second one. Okay, so what we do, what do we do if we are, our score is bigger than the score 2? Now, we don't need this one because we don't keep, because our score is just bigger than the second one. We are, let's say, David me david got 950 so this one remains the same so we don't need to change adam okay it doesn't change so what is having impact if i got 950 is only these so what we do here is this one is still the same nothing happens Okay. This one is the same. And then temporary name two. Okay, three. And then this one. Okay, what should we do here? The new name is not here. Instead, the new name is here. Okay, name one is having no impact, and name two becomes new name and then name three becomes name two yeah this is just the same okay do you get this one and then what we do here okay wait i know some of you want to say something hold your horses Okay, this one is still the same, and then this one is in the new name, and this one is the same. Guys, before I continue to the fifth player, do you see something that is inefficient? You see this one? And this one is just the same, okay? Temporary name 3 is keeping name 3. Temporary name 4 is keeping name 4. So, this is inefficient if we keep typing like this, okay? So, what we need to do here, okay? Although you are better than the third player or the fourth player or even the first player, 
okay just keep this just keep doing this okay so what we need to do here is just keep the score okay let's say we can put it here okay because this is the process so this one is a node this one is a node to get this okay the name and we keep it there so we can straightly do this okay I'll put it down so do you see something missing here yes correct we are just keeping the name you forgot that we have new score so new score also having an impact so what we do here is also temporary score temporary score oops temporary score sorry temporary score this one is score one temporary score two three four and five so temporary score two three four five okay three four and five okay here also ah, just to replace and type on your name and here's a score replace replace all well no it replacing this one no 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 close it yeah going to replace name into a score here only this one replace please replace okay done you see it's already replaced score here but then here new score is here and score 3 is now score 2 new score is here this one is gone Okay. If I make this one, I think you will be confused. So I'm going to separate this. It's okay to make a space here. It doesn't have any impact on the programming. Okay. Now let's continue on. Okay, so if it's better than score 4 new name is here removing this one be gone okay another else if Okay. New score is bigger than score 5. Then this one becomes this one. Okay, now we are done for this if. Okay, guys, as you see, okay, we are already done switching this 
this one, let's say all of this is the formula, okay? It's already updating the data. But then we need to present the new data, okay? It means it's already updating for this one, okay? Then we just put this one. It's already putting for updated one. But then we need to read this, okay? If the score is at least better than rank 5, the 5th rank, it shows the text, you are a new champion. You see there's an if here, okay? But if your score is not uh, is less than 5th rank, let's say you got only 100, okay, less than Anoshka, then this text doesn't show, okay? If the new score is at least better than 5, show this one. The program shows the new updated report rank. So let's say um, your score is not bet better than the 5th rank. Does the program still show the Ranks, name and score, yes, uh, no, because this one asks you if. So um, it means, let's say your score is 2, is less than the 5th rank, it doesn't show this. It doesn't show this. Okay, because the new player has a terrible mark. So if... new score if okay, okay uh, let me copy first if new score is bigger than score 5 okay because this one is bigger better better than the fifth rank then showing you are a new champion then print print you are a new champion okay You are a new champion. And we need to close this with a and if. And if. Okay. Now, we are already done. Because after that, the program stops. Okay. Guys, if you want to add something here, okay, this one is not in the questions, please don't edit them. So you just do based on the question. But let's say, let's say you are going to show you are a new champion. You are now in the fourth rank or third rank or your let's say you are you are saying that this program can tell you that you are in the rank four or you you are in the rank five so here you can add your rank let's say you are adding here your rank Your rank is number one. Okay, you can add this if the question asks. But if the question doesn't ask you to do this, please don't do it. This is just an explanation to you. If only the question is asking, you need to mention the rank. 
Okay. Rank four. And this is rank five. Okay. You are a new champion. Print. You are the you get the you can you get the coma your rank okay your rank coma or just say rank one rank two rank three okay so if only you need to do this you can do it let's say I'm putting this one is the in the blue color okay blue color this one in the blue color Whoa, you see, there are long answers for this. So, I hope you guys understand this one. Okay, let's make a review. So, the first thing you need to do is to make a variable. Name 1, name 2, name 5. Score 1 until 5. Okay, after you take note as a variable. And then you print out the five best player for the first time. And then you make a changes by making a new input, the name and the new score. This one is taking a note for the for this. Okay. Taking a note for this temporary is just like a note. And after that. For the formula, the second process, the first one is the input, second process is if the score, your new score is bigger than the first score, then you make these changes. If you are better than the score 2, then you make these changes. Okay? And then the last one, the third process is you present the final data. Now, before I close uh, this tutorial. If you ask me, Mr. David, why is the first if if the is this if the new score is bigger than score one? Why you don't write if the new score is bigger than score five? Why you, sh you should put one, two, three, four, and five? Why don't you write down the first one is if new score is bigger than score 5. Okay, why I didn't put this one as the first one? Can you answer me? Okay, now let's say, let's say your score, okay, or my score, David's score is 1500 and the first question is the first question is hey david are you better than a thousand that is the first question then yeah i'm i'm getting a thousand and five hundred so then this one will be a thousand five hundred and here is my name and adam goes down midwest go down the score is also going down and Anoshka with her 350 score is gone. But if the first question, okay, here is, let's say for the first time I got input, my name, David, and then the input is 1,500. And the first time you come for the if, 
Hey David, are you better than Anoshka, which gets 350? Yes, I got 1,500. Then my name will be here. Okay, it's just like this. Then the program stops. This one will make a disaster. This one is a big mistake. Okay, after if you put this one as the first one, then it won't asking the other if. So let's say here in the first if, if your score and new score is bigger than a thousand, okay, then it will do this. After this one is done, okay, it won't do this one. It will escape for this one. It will skip this one and straightly go here for the result. So let's say you are better if you are your score is bigger than the second one, you're not this, then okay, your score is uh, 999, so you're supposed to be in the second rank, so this one is ignored. Okay, your new score is not better than the score one, but your score is bigger than the score two, so it will process this one, after this one done, okay, after this one is done, it will skip this one. It will ignore, it will skip this one because you have fulfilled for this one. And then you go for this one. Okay, I hope you enjoy my tutorial. And if you like this one, you can press like or subscribe. And thank you for learning with me. Bye-bye.